Uh, shout out to Grums, uh, Mark, uh, Mark Kern. I see, uh, were we misled? Helldivers was lauded for their anti-politics stance by all of us. Now Helldivers community man, uh, manager clarified why they banned people for asking for LGBT uh, capes. It wasn't for politics. It was to protect the devs from waves of hate speech, which our staff was struggling with emotionally and that they only ban the bigots. Honestly, I don't know what to think. What exactly is Helldivers community policy? So this is what she says. This is the, the community manager. And here's the thing. The community manager, the manager actually has a lot of power because I work on a game that deals with a lot of the community and our game, our game that I work on is also a live game. Now, um, basically what the community manager usually does is they'll put up like, they're the one who's basically in charge of the social media. They're in charge of talking to the envoys, which is people who are like partnered with the, with the, you know, uh, who are be basically being sponsored to play the game if there is any. And those are the people uh, that basically dictates like, oh, this is what the people are saying. This is what the people are saying. So, uh, they have a lot of power. Let's see. So this is what she said. Plus, Hell Divers is pretty woke, dog. The game was made by a lot of LGBTQ and brown people and black people and women, and it's a big satire of jingoism. It amuses me that they don't know that Super Earth is bad. It also explains a lot about the world at the present. Oh. So um, this person responded with, didn't they ban people from their Discord for suggesting they add LGBT colored uh, capes? And uh, she responded saying, no, we only ban the bigots, transphobes, homophobes, racists, etc. are not welcomed in our community. We had to restrict the topics to uh, in Helldivers uh, to general chats for a while because it was triggering massive waves of hate speech, which our staff was struggling with emotionally. So uh, how do you feel about this, Gray? Like, it's actually supposed to be a, uh, a you know, Super Earth is actually the bad guys. Like, what the yeah, <laughs> it's like I, I uh one uh what's the name of the developers of Hell Diversity? What's the name of the what's their name? Uh, I forgot already. I, 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 Arrow, Arrowhead, Arrowhead. Okay, it's like Arrowhead, you, yeah, you, Arrow, Arrowhead. You you gotta fire this community manager. It's like it, it's, it's like as a community manager, right? You have to like uphold the brand. Like if if Hell Divers Two is kind of like even though it's like fictionalized democracy, then that's what you you should be going for. Not like she's probably also the kind who's saying, "Oh, the, there's a lot of evil patriarchs in Helldivers too." I, I imagine she's also thinking that way. So you you gotta people you gotta hire people who know how to do marketing if you're in community if you're if they're handling community management because like they're like an extension of the brand. Like if you hire this kind of person, it's like it's. It shows you're like contradicting yourself, and also you're kind of incompetent in terms of hiring actual people. So yeah, I, I hope she, if she hasn't already, she, th these state these tweets should have been deleted or retracted already. At at the very least, she sends it like an apology tweet or she retracts them. That's what I'm expecting from yeah, um, yeah, what Arrowhead did. Like yeah, yeah, you gotta remove this or else you're fired. Stuff like that. Yeah, so so here's the thing. Um, when it so I've been playing the game, and uh, great. Did you watch Starship Troopers, or did you read the books, or anything like that? I've heard a lot of praise about it, but I have haven't already watched it. I, I know the meme comes from them that I'm doing my part. Yeah. yeah. So the, the the thing is that like um in the future in the future, uh where LGBTQ people are no longer a thing. Um, basically, what happens is that everyone comes together because there is a bigger threat, right? There is a bigger threat at hand, and whatever planet that they already colonized or whatever they're they're already on, they already you know operated on, it's being invaded by like bugs or some shit like that, right? So they all came together and basically put all of their differences aside and worked and strive to make sure that Earth and all these places that they're you know they own or conquered. Uh, don't get overrun by these creatures. Basically, that's it. And I think that's that's not a bad thing. Like, we have so much hate, so much fucking uh, people who are just 
um, dunking on one another, want people to, you know, to unalive themselves just because they think differently, right? I guarantee people, if people saw me wearing this Let's Go Brandon shirt, they were like, oh, I'm going to try to dox that fucking sweet and sour chicken ass to make sure that he's no longer on this platform ever again, right? I'm pretty sure they would do that, right? Not even a second, even though I think the same thing, I, I think some of the, the stuff they say is maybe have some little bit of merit, like, if given the opportunity, like like Asman Gold said, if they hey, if they have the button to nuke plot Project Agro, they would do it in an instant. Nuke nuke people who are against them, they would do it in an instant. But the thing is that now you have a game or a movie that talks about everyone put aside their hate for one another and come together to for for a common goal. And that's when's the last time that that happened? Probably during the space race, going to the moon. Probably, like I wasn't alive for that shit. But the thing is that that's something that like everyone came together for, right? It was a fucking huge event. And we don't have that anymore. Now that we have a game that sort of brings that back and everyone's coming together and everyone's playing the game. The game has how many Steam players right now? Uh, I'm, I'm going to Google it right now. Uh, Steam charts. Let's see. Right now, uh, 241,000 uh, people on Steam right now, not including consoles. Right, this is a big game, only $40. The thing is that why would you say something like this? It's like, oh, this game actually has no place for bigoted people and stuff like that. Like, yeah, I get like, it, right? You want to keep your game safe. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it's like it feels like so counterintuitive for a community. Man. It's like this is how not to be a community manager. The exact opposite. It's like as a community manager, it's like you're supposed to foster a good culture for your game. Yeah, as you said, bring people together, not spewing this. So yeah, insecurities again, insecurities, and then spewing it in your uh, profile where where your community can see it. Yeah, it's like mm -hmm. if you're a if you're a community manager, yeah, you have a responsibility to uphold already. Like you're kind of like a brand ambassador, which is definitely not this person or shouldn't be this person. Yeah, and the thing is that she says that like the the game. Um, the game is about like Earth is actually the fascist ones because we're going to different planets to, like take over their shit, right? So the thing is that like I can if if you're gonna if you're gonna say oh oh uh, robots have feelings and bugs have feelings, fuck them, <laughs> fuck them, right? Like if, if if you say that liberating Super Earth, right, and freaking uh, spreading democracy for Super Earth for the uh, for for the betterment of uh super you know of humankind or whatever and we're all coming together to to do this one thing fuck them right <laughs> no one cares about these bugs no one cares about about, about these automatons and i guarantee you this person named carol baskin <laughs> or catherine baskin probably will be like would go to these planets and say guys i'm on your side and then immediately get dispatched the robot would just be like, enemy, boom, killed, right? You cannot be reasoned with. It cannot be stopped. They will hunt you down until you are gone. I believe that's a sort of like a paraphrased word from uh, Terminator. But I mean, yeah, or, it's... Yeah. um, And of course, you see who's trending, Gray? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, it's like, what the hell? And I guess Grum's got... Uh, he uh he got blocked by this person just by asking oh. a question. Oh, what what a surprise! What what a shocker! All right, let me actually go to his thing right over here. All right, so we're here. Uh, he pinned it right over here. Uh, and then I believe he scrolled down. <laughs> so, uh, if you scroll down, I believe um that like he's trending and it says that he's actually uh he's actually got uh got blocked or yeah blocked blocked by that person, which is crazy. Like for me, this game is fun. Like the thing is that once you start putting a lot of these like, like you know, po political ideology into your shit, like you're just questioning it. Like, why is she doing this? Right, right over here. Uh, more context. Okay, let me put in, put a new tab right over here. Uh, there it is. Um, I also don't like the terms casual and hardcore because they come with the implication that skill equals passion. Those words are something gamers cling to, but they are being rendered meaningless as games become more accessible, inclusive, and experimental. Um, I'm not talking much because it's not my turn to talk. It's time for Black people to be heard and for white people to listen. <laughs> 
Oh, oh, f- oh my fucking god, dude! <laughs> Jesus Christ, the virtue signaling what? is strong. What, 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 Catherine, as a yellow person, when's my turn? Huh? When's my turn? You're being racist. <laughs> when will I get a turn? <laughs> well, well, we are white adjacent, all right? Out of all the colors, yellow is closest to white, so we are <laughs> white adjacent. <laughs> oh man, I want to continue to do everything I can to help, including passing the mic. How about you stop? How about you pass the fork? You look sort of fat. Uh, I'm so tired of games focusing on parent slash child narratives, period, let alone male centric ones. There are other relationships worth exploring in games. You know what? I like games with female stories. I like women. I like to see more women doing things in games that aren't motivated entirely by men. It's why Jesse from Control Remedy is great and has a sibling story. I love sibling games. Um, you should probably play that one where they kill their parents. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> it's like what, what, something in what? Lele or something like that. Oh, that I it's don't like, know. Yeah, it's basically a game about like... Yeah, that one's cringe. As, <laughs> so <laughs> It's so cringe. Let's see. Plus, Hell Divers is pretty woke, so that's what she said. Uh, this part is wild. Just unchecking the accountability box for men completely. Some real big stinky opinions here. So this person said... I think it's true that uh, bridging the gap will have to come from men that, than women. But I think uh, I think diagnosis of toxic masculinity only exacerbate the problem, causing further negative uh, polarization. But he's right, though. He's right. Yeah, exactly. I was about to say. Like I, it's it's this person is crazy, and, it, and of course, if you go into her um, her, uh, I, I think this is Discord, right? Uh, what do you see? She, her pronouns and bio, and then you have three flags. <laughs> yeah, it's always the it's, it's always the pronouns and bios for me. What about jungle Asians? You guys, you, we fall. You guys fall under the the, the, the Asian the, the Asian <laughs> the the demographic. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.